part two of the video where we're going to be looking at some of your answers to this post that I put up on my socials last week. If you've not watched part one, check out the link in the description. Give that a watch as well because there were some funny answers in that one. But let's get straight into some more of your fantastic responses. I can cure any ailment with a wet paper towel. There we go. And I've said we don't need a vaccine for COVID. Why have we not just tried putting a wet paper towel on it? My husband gets offended when I say in public, that's one of my kids' dads. <laughs> I don't know why, uh, but that wouldn't go down well if it was overheard, I suspect, would it? There's another one, there's one, you know, walking through the Asda Isles. Oh, hello, there's my kids' dads. There's another one of my kids' dads. If anyone didn't know you were a teacher, mm, they'd be making judgments. I sound out words phonetically to other adults. <laughs> Just naturally, and it's just second nature, but I guarantee it will wind your friends and family up no end. But I suppose, depending on what you want to say, that's when you can really drill home the point. No, please, piss off. And this one must be just when your mind's running on empty and it's just without even thinking. I told a supermarket assistant, well done, when she finished putting my shopping through. I meant to say thank you. That could only be made worse if you then pulled out a gold sticker and put it next to the Sainsbury's badge. I wake up my 17 year old by singing, wake up, wake up, give yourself a shake up. Not even gonna lie, straight up banger. Your 17 year old must absolutely love it. And I'm not gonna lie, I think I'm gonna add that as my alarm clock from now on because that will just make me wake up every morning with a real spring in my step. I feel absolute rage if a glue stick is missing a lid. Amen to that, I'm exactly the same. Why is it every classroom seems to have this Bermuda Triangle? where these glue sticks go missing every single lesson. What is it with them? The other day, a child sneezed while I was talking to them. I felt something hit my tongue. I carried on smiling. Wow, that is true dedication to the cause because when you're taking a straight hit of Rona to the gob, I don't know if I'd be able to keep a straight face. Hats off to you, sir, for keeping it professional in the most hideous of circumstances there. Today at work, someone came up to me and stuck their tongue in my ear. <laughs> I mean, in what other job or career could you utter that sentence and your fellow colleagues wouldn't even bat an eyelid? I mean, unless it was the colleagues who did that, in which case that's not right, is it? Well, it's not right. Anyway, uh, I turned and thanked them. What are you thanking them for? Before reminding them that we save nice gestures like that for our families. Do we? Um, I don't think I'm gonna be greeting my mum when I eventually get to see her with a tongue in the ear, that's for sure. When the mother of one of your clients, wow, I have never in my whole teaching career come across anyone who has referred to their pupils, children or students as clients, but I tell you what, I kind of like it, it sort of takes our job up a few notches on the old professional meter, I like that one, but I don't think you get away with, how was your day in work? Oh, well, one of my clients today licked the inside of my ear. So when the mother comes to tell you that the client can't come into school because of a bout of diarrhea, Listen, we've all been there, happens to the best of us. She then shows you a photo of the evidence in the family toilet by way of proof. Who's not believing? Who's asking for that? What teacher's gonna be asking? Have you got proof? Yeah, there you go. Oh, thank you. Now that you've shown me your child's attempt at the Sistine Chapel and toilet bowl, I now believe you and they may have the day off school. And I think we'll finish on this one. Sadly, my lovely next door neighbor died last week. Rest in peace. She was deputy head of our local special needs school, but retired over 25 years ago. She still had a huge box full of inner cardboard tubes. I mean, you can take the teacher out the classroom, but you can never take the classroom out the teacher. She could knit 30 mini stockings in a week and thought Michael Gove was a, well, let you fill in the gaps there, her words. Actually, no, I think they're the words of all of the educational world there. She was proper teacher through and through and I as a teacher of 15 years just wanted to share what the future will be like for all of us. Amen to that. So there you go guys I hope that's given you a bit of a giggle and thank you to everyone who contributed an answer there. I really really do appreciate all the support. If I get time I might have a look through a few more and if you give me a giggle I'll make a follow-up video but thank you very very much for watching. Take care.